Hey guys, it's Mr. Wachowski at Central Cabrera's High School Guidance Office. Uh, this video, I want to share with you information about a program called Career and College Promise through Rowan Cabrera's Community College. I'm going to talk in detail about this program specifically for next year or the school year 2020-21. So in this video, I'm going to answer many questions and give you lots of details about this program. We'll talk about CCP or Career and College Promise and, and talk about what it, is it, how much does it cost, who can take these classes, what are the various programs and class options, why even think about doing this, and then lastly, how do you sign up for it? So what is CCP? So CCP is a dual enrollment program um, through the local community college, and in our case, that's Rowan Cabrera's Community College, and it allows juniors and seniors to take college-level classes, college credit classes through their community college, um, and students who do this earn both high school credit for these classes as well as college credit, and these students are, are starting college, essentially, and starting to build their college transcript by taking CCP classes. Okay, so how much does CCP cost? So we'd like to say that it's completely free, but it's not. Uh, CCP classes are tuition free. So whatever it would cost you in tuition, that cost is free, uh, is waived and it's free. Um, you do have a student fee for every class that you take. It's about $35 I hear from students. Uh, so for every class you take, you'll have a student fee that's charged to you that you'll have to pay. Um, you may have other fees that pop up for a class. Maybe you have an ebook. Maybe you have supplies. Maybe you take a class on campus and you have to get yourself there. Um, so you might have some fees attached to these classes. So we can't say, even though we would like to, we can't say it's just completely free. And there may be some costs that pop up, but it is tuition free. And I'll tell you more about books that you may get assigned to you in a moment. So in this graph over here on the side, I give you an example of how much uh, these classes normally would cost you if you went to Rowan Cabarrus on your own and you took a class, like I give you an example here, Psych 150. If you took Psych 150 on your own, general psychology, it would cost you $228. If you took the same class at UNC Charlotte, it would cost you $1,200. If you took that same class at Wake Forest University, it would be more than 6000 So you can see the savings that you are making as you take these classes in high school. And um, if you transferred that same psychology class to Charlotte, you took it in high school and you passed it, you can see what you're saving yourself by doing these classes while you're in high school, uh, tuition free, and turn around and save yourself this much money. Um, as you send it off to the next college that you're going to attend. So who can take CCP classes? I mentioned it before, but it's open to juniors and seniors who, who have a unweighted GPA of 2.8 or higher. Okay, so you must have a 2.8 or higher unweighted GPA. If you don't know what your GPA is, you can always ask your counselor and they can look it up and tell you. Um, there is an exception if a student has does not have that 2.8, um, but they have what are called college-ready test scores, you know, PSAT, Pre-ACT, SAT, ACT. You can take um, these classes if you have those college-ready test scores. Now, the likelihood is not probably not really high that a student with uh, less than a 2.8 also has college-ready test scores, but um, that is an option for you. Um, to explore if you have lower than the 2.8. And of course, you can't have any serious disciplinary issues in high school, and you can't have attendance problems while you're at Central and still be a candidate to go take classes through the college. What are the various programs and class options do you have? In the following slides, I'm gonna describe, um, essentially there are two different programs at Rowan Cabarrus. Uh, one is called Transfer, and another one is called technical. We're going to dive into transfer first, and then we'll talk about technical classes. So the first uh, type of classes, 
and probably at this point the most popular classes that we have are what are called transfer classes. So these are classes either in Associate in Art, Fine Arts, Associate in Science, um, where students are taking what normally they would be taking at university in their first and second year. Okay, uh, and what they call these classes, they're required classes. You might have two Englishes you have to take, you might have a math or two sciences you have to take and so on. They're called general ed classes or gen ed classes that you would be taking in your first year and second year at university. And we call these transfer classes. Now these particular, all of these transfer classes earn an extra quality point in your GBA. So as, as an example, if you got an A in these classes, instead of when regularly you get a 4.0, you get an extra point, you would get a 5.0. And if you got a B, you get a 4.0, and a C, you, you would get a 3.0, and so on. So, so you just need to know transfers get an extra quality point. So here are some examples of some classes that you would take in the transfer program. These are probably some of the most popular ones, but you might take an English 111 writing and inquiry. This is your freshman English class. You might take psychology, general psychology 150, public speaking, COM 231, art appreciation art 111. And again, these fit into what are called gen eds, general education, intended for you to transfer off to your four year college university as you are working toward your bachelor's degree or your four-year degree. So some transfer classes count as high school required courses. Now you always get a credit. You always get a high school credit for CCP classes. But in some cases they count as your required high school core classes. So what I've done is in this list I've given you um, how you could complete um, some of your high school classes here and I'll give you an example American History 1 if you instead of taking it here at the high school as a high school course you could take what is called HIS 131 it's American History 1 through the community college and then same American History 2 is HIS 132 um, for the class 2023 and beyond currently as we don't know that this will work so if you are class 2023 or beyond you need to talk to your counselor. They do offer Spanish 1 and 2 um, as Spanish 111 and 112 at the community college. So if you're interested in that option, you can talk to your counselor. Now, with English 3 and 4, you would essentially have to do, as you can see, four college English classes, um, which include um, writing and inquiry, American literature, British literature. We counselors would never recommend that you do this unless you were going to be an English major in college. Um, so before you dive into that, you know, we would really want to look closely at that because you, you can see for two high school classes, you would end up having to do four college. So in most cases, that's not a good decision. Um, you can fulfill your physical science requirement for high school by doing either uh, a physics class in a lab, physics 151 and 152, or a chemistry class in its lab. So those could count as your physical science. And biology, uh, the college has a couple different biology classes that could count as your high school biology. And then the um, as a fourth math that you would need for high school, there are multiple classes. So if you're interested in doing that option, talk to your counselor and there's many classes that you can pick from at Central or I'm sorry at, at uh, Roland Cabarrus. Okay so we're going to change gears a little bit and we're going to talk at this point about technical classes. Now I talked previously about what are called transfer classes and now I'm going to talk a, a little bit about technical classes and um, and I've, I've put a picture over here. Cosmetology is probably the most popular program and I'll, I'll show you a list in a moment of all the different classes or programs that you can do but you you similarly to uh, transfer you earn both college credit and high school credit but instead of the transfer is looking at leaving and going on to university with their credits instead a technical is looking 
at completing a Rowan Cabreras program. So they begin it in high school and you might have to continue after high school and enroll at Rowan Cabreras and, and um, finish that program. So that might be the case, but you, essentially, essentially you're working on a program and completing that through Rowan Cabreras. Um, you do not earn an extra quality point. You heard me talk earlier about how, how they earn an extra point in their GPA. These technical classes do not earn an extra point. So it's just the same as a high school class. An A is a 4.0, a B is a 3.0, and so on. So in the next two slides, what I've done is listed out for you A to Z um, all the different programs in uh, technical at, at Rowan Cabarrus. Start with air conditioning, heating, and refrigeration, and going all the way through welding. Um, and you can see all the list of them here. I've highlighted cosmetology because, as I said before, this is probably the most popular program. Um, and of course, there's hair, which is cosmetology, aesthetics, um, which is uh, skin and facial care, and then manicuring, which is nails. Okay. And I'll move on to the next slide, which continues. So continues the list of, of programs that you can do. Um, now nurse aid does have a separate application process and it's competitive. So I, we will announce when that application is available and when it's due and it, it has been in March. I imagine it will be in March again. So this is a complete list of all the technical programs that you could do at, at Rowan Cabrera's. So why do career and college promise? So I've listed here the, the reasons that I can think of that students should and, uh, think about doing this program. And the first one, of course, is that it's cheap. I mean, you are saving your, you and your, your family a lot of money by doing this program while you're in high school. Tuition free, you're taking advantage of this opportunity so that you aren't having to pay this bill. So it's cheap. Uh, the second thing is it allows you to potentially complete uh, your program earlier, whether that's your four-year degree or whether that's your cosmetology certificate or your welding certificate, whatever it is, you can go ahead and start it in high school and you can get it done earlier. Um, you can get out into the workforce earlier than someone else. Okay. Um, the reality is that many students borrow money for college and take on student loans. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to reduce the amount of student loan debt that you may leave college with. Um, maybe you're interested in trying some classes in a particular career right now. Um, you're not necessarily sold on it and, and committed to it, but you're very interested in trying something. I would encourage you to try it because you try it for free. And if you decide you don't like it, you haven't really lost any money. And then lastly, by doing these classes in high school, it makes yourself room later in your college career for you to do things like take in, uh, do internships or go and study abroad or while your friends are taking five or six college classes to try to hurry up and graduate in four years, you don't have to take as many because you did them while you're in high school. So you can, um, you can free yourself up to take less classes later on. How do you take CCP classes? Um, many are available online. Some are seated classes um, that you can take. Uh, Rowan Cabarrus currently has four campuses, um, south in Concord, north in Salisbury, Kannapolis at the research campus. Uh, CBTC is a business center and it's not far from Central Cabarrus at all. And then the Cosmetology Center is up in Kannapolis. So there's multiple places if you wanted to take a seated class. Uh, many classes are available online. Of course, your technical programs like cosmetology, there's not much you can probably do there online or welding you can't do online. You've got to take those classes uh, on campus. So you can just expect that. One question I get sometimes from students is, do I have to take all the classes in the program? They look at this and they, they, they think, if I'm signing up for this, I must be signing up for the whole thing and I must commit to take the whole thing. Well, that's not true. So you can do as much or as little as you want to do. Maybe one semester you do uh, criminal justice and the next semester you do transfer and the next semester you do something entirely different. That's fine. 
you do as much or as little as you want to do. Okay, so at this point we're going to kind of talk about what do you do next. So if you've decided you want to take these classes, we're going to talk in a moment about applying and all that sort of thing. But um, one question I do want to answer is how do you add these to your schedule? So in or by June, you will have signed up for classes through Rowan Cabarrus and you will by June, you should meet with your counselor and you should add these classes into your Central Cabarrus schedule. And maybe you're um, dropping classes and adding these um, in the place of classes here at Central. Maybe you're taking online and you're going to do it at Central. Um, or you're taking those online classes at home. Whatever you do, you're going to do that by the end of the school year before you leave for the summer. Okay, so let's talk about next steps. What do you do now? Now that you've decided you do want to do CCP classes, what do you do next? The first thing I want you to do is sign up to get texts from the counselors so that um, we will send you emails, but we'll also send you quick texts if there's something that comes up you need to know about. So look at this, uh, the directions here send this message here to that phone number right there and that will sign you up to get texts from us so that anything comes up any updates deadlines uh, things that you need to do or be aware of or registration whatever you will get a text about that okay uh, two things i want you to do is number one is apply online for ccp and do number two is do the student agreement form it's available on this website here Okay, and uh, if you sign up for the text, we'll send it directly to you. But if you follow this short um, website, it'll take you straight to the more information as well as the application. Okay. Okay, step three is after you've applied and you've done the student agreement form, at some point you will register for classes. Um, after April 1st, you'll, you'll register for fall as well as summer classes of 2020 if you wanted to take summer classes. Um, and Rowan Cabarrus will actually come out. We haven't figured out when they're going to do that. But again, we'll send texts to you and tell you for sure and let you sign up for that. But step three is going to be you registering for classes um, after April 1st, either with Rowan Cabarrus or online. You can do it yourself or you can meet with your high school counselor and you can register that way as well. Okay, let's talk about CCP and books because most college classes that you take will require you to have a textbook or a book of some kind. Um, so just a short, quick, and decisive announcement that I have about that is do not buy a book. Before you talk to Central Cabarrus' librarian, Ms. Ramsor, okay, uh, check with her first and see if the school system has a book. If they do, she will get it to you um, and check it out to you for the semester, okay? Never rent a book. Central Cabarrus will not, or Cabarrus County Schools will not reimburse you if you rent a book. If you are forced to buy a book, then you'll need to talk to Ms. Ramsor and Mr. White, the assistant principal, about what to do to buy that book, follow the proper procedures, and get reimbursed for that book. But first, of course, check with the librarian. Let's talk about dropping classes, uh, dropping CCP. Now, the college makes it actually uh, kind of easy to drop classes uh, for college kids. But we have to tell high school students, once you begin a course and you log in or once you go to that first day of classes, uh, you cannot drop the class. And if you do, if you drop a class, you will have to take an F for that class and, and it won't be an F on the college side they'll let you drop it but it will be an F on your high school transcript so do not ever drop a class without talking to your counselor first the last item is a user agreement uh, your counselor will get you a user agreement we'll probably uh, text it to you through a remind uh, first and maybe we'll email it to you uh, but you must complete what's called a user agreement in order to take the class and it talks to you about uh, dropping and adding classes and that you, you can't drop classes but it also allows your counselor to talk to your own Cabarrus teachers because without this user agreement 
your teachers at Rural Tavares won't talk to us. So uh, do watch for that. So really that's the last slide and that's all the information. If you do have more questions, see your counselor uh, and we will be glad to help you. Thank you.